Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Scorpio, what do we have for you? So Scorpio, you have someone here who wants to return who wants to come back, who wants to reconnect, who wants to reach out to you. It's like I feel that this person is taking... I'm seeing someone who essentially is writing a message and then deleting it. You know? And I feel that this is someone who's ready to reach out, who's ready to return, but they feel quite insecure. That's why we have delays. This is someone who will reach out, but I don't see it's happening immediately. We have a moon's energy. You are very intuitive at the moment, Scorpio. You know, you are spot on about something here regarding this whole situation. Maybe you feel this person, that they energy, that they are coming, that they will reach out, that they will return. It might happen during the full moon, which will take place Saturday, 28th. Mm -hmm. They might reach out during this time. I feel that you, you know, I feel that this whole experience with this person, Scorpio, kind of forced you to, um, to maybe uh, be more selective with your energy. Uh, I'm getting that you are setting very strong and healthy boundaries. And you might have your guard up regarding this whole situation. Because there is something here about communication. It's like this person needs to kind of improve the way they're communicating with you in general. You're dealing here with, I feel, someone metaphorically saying creature of habit. They have their routines and I feel it's very difficult for this person to adapt to, to any change. They don't like change. No. Yeah, maybe they 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 finding quite difficult to compromise as well. It might be a case. I feel this person also kind of um, because of their very very uh, busy schedule, they might have uh, kind of uh, many times. Uh, last minute there was a change of plans uh, they cancelled dates with you they were late i feel that this person in general that we are connecting in this reading at some point didn't prioritize this connection because it felt like they have one it's like they it felt like they have other things to do uh, that required their full attention you might have felt that way. And there is something here about their schedule, routine. Mm. Okay, show me more about the situation, please. Scorpio and this person in general. More about the situation, Page of Swords. Uh -huh. So this is someone here, Scorpio, <laughs> who might be spying on you, who might be keeping tabs on you. If you have social media, they are very curious. They are checking your social media. They want to figure out when it's the best time to reach out to you in order to apologize. Knight of Cups. Magician, they're trying to manifest a change regarding this connection. Strength. You might be dealing with Leo. I also have Virgo Gemini.
Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Okay. Ace of Swords. They have some explaining to do. Yeah. Eight of Wands and Nine of Wands. There will be a progress regarding this situation. Eight to nine. The world at the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with another Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, indeed. So you have someone who is very curious about you, who is uh, trying to figure out when is the best time to reach out and apologize with the Knight of Cups, the magician, they're trying to manifest a change with the strength. This is someone who feels this connection it's like they develop a very strong bond with you and maybe um, there was a time apart between the, you know between the two of you and that time apart made them realize that actually this connection is very very profound yeah but this is someone here who knows that they need to be very diplomatic very careful with their words very cautious how they present themselves uh, in order to achieve a positive resolution for their situation because they have a strength we have an ace of swords so that communication diplom kind of approaching you in a very diplomatic way uh, during that conversation because they want to apologize with the page of pentacles here bring some sort of offer not much because a page of pentacles it's a potential it can also represent that this person will kind of reach out in a very casual way uh, or they will send you a very casual message but they have some explaining to do because we have a queen of wands and queen of wands represents that at some point this person might have put you in a third party situation or if it's not a if it's not a third party meaning involving another individual they didn't prioritize this connection that third party can represent for instance family relatives habits their professional life that they prioritized uh, over this connection, um, finances, um, career, you know, habits, close related environment, friends. And with the Ace of Swords, it's like they know that they need to talk about this. And they will. Because we have an Eight of Wands, this person will take action. They will take action. However, with the Nine of Wands, I feel that there will be a slight delay. Because Nine of Wands suggests that this person, as much as they, are conf they made the decision to reach out, because we have the sun that is shining so brightly. So it's like this person knows now exactly what they want. But Nine of Wands, it's still there. So it's like they are cautious. They, they are... I know that I want to reach out, but I don't know how Scorpio will react on, you know, on the fact that, that I, I want to talk to them. So I feel that uh, there will be a slight, there will be a little de delay in them to, in, in, with regards to them reaching out to you, but that conversation will take place and you will be in touch with this person. A, the world here suggests that uh, this person uh, feels unfinished business with you with this context of this reading mm -hmm. they will try everything here to kind of provide you with a proper explanation but that uh, the conversation here will be surround will be around will be about that that third party whatever that third party might represent to your personal circumstances with this person Let's see this person's feelings for you, Scorpio. We have Queen of Pentacles. The Fool. the tower this is someone who's going through a tower moment you 
You might be dealing with uh, another Scorpio indeed, Aries, but um, strong Aries actually, Aquarius. But um, we have your energy here, Scorpio, in their feelings. So this person is very, very much thinking about you and it's in the tower moment. So they are having this tower moment uh, regarding their feelings that they have for you. Sudden realization, sudden, sudden enlightenment. This person is starting to understand certain things about their feelings that they have for you. And with the fool, it's like they want to be they want to have a new beginning with you here, Scorpio, because they see you as someone who's very caring, very nurturing, and very loving, Queen of Pentacles. Very stable individual. But they were the one who I feel brought that instability to this whole situation at the end of the day. Six of Pentacles, it's like you know. For some of you, this is someone who was giving at the same time one day while they were with you to another situation. And, it, and again, it might be a case that they prioritized here something like their professional life over this connection. And at some point, they were g giving you like a little bit of attention, a little bit of love, a little bit of aff affection, a little bit of time. And this person is realizing this, that it wasn't fair. And at some point, they might, came, they might have came across as someone who breadcrumbs you. Instead of, you know, being in this equal give-take energy. Show me this person's actions towards Scorpio. Show me this person's actions towards Scorpio, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the moon, we have the hermit, we have a five of swords, we have a king of swords, four of pentacles and four of wands. nineteen ninety four might be quite important nineteen eighty four I have as well as a year a fourth of April or fifth of April fifth of May fourth of May might be quite important for this situation something might have happened in the past okay number fifty five forty five 44 I have as well someone's age that might be as well in their actions ooh, ooh, ooh. so Scorpio might be dealing with Pisces I also have Aquarius and Virgo okay well this person here it's unsure with the moon they are full of doubt I feel that they are very emotional at the moment about this whole situation um, there is a doubt because they know that they messed things up with you or they messed things up regarding the situation I should have said the hermit they, they, they've been thinking a lot about this this is someone who yeah it's like they are a little bit in the pickle there is a conundrum that they are facing what am I supposed to do how I should do it I don't know how how Scorpio will react because they probably see me as someone who played mind games who was manipulative and who wasn't fair and the thing is that this person will reach out because they want to clear the air with you Scorpio four of pentacles uh, this person wants you this is someone who wants to be with you we have a four of wands they want to be again in touch with you they want to be to have a connection with you um, they want to be present in your life they want to be ultimately in a relationship with you. You might be seeing 11-11 a lot. 
or this, you might feel that this person eats your twin flame or I would say that they feel that way more, actually. However, this person is aware that they need to face the music. Five of Wands that you might be agitated, annoyed and even angry with them how they handle this situation. But this is someone who will reach out because they want to clear the air with you and they want to kind of express that they the feelings have never changed and they want to be with you. Six of Pentacles. Oh, they will uh, they, they will be very generous with their time, with their affection, with their attention. Big time. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome, please. Hierophant. You might be dealing with Taurus. Show me the outcome. Seven of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah. They will reach out. Oh, we have the sun, Leo energy. So Scorpio, it feels very strongly here that this person has serious intentions towards you with the Hierophant. Seven of Wands suggests that this person is ready to prove it to you, that they truly care. You know, Page of Wands, you can expect that this person will reach out to you indeed, because Page of Wands, it's a messenger. So the message here, it's coming and it's in your outcome. There will be a, some sort of conversation about them planning something that they have plans or they've been very busy, uh, that they've been working on something. But uh, it's like they will express here that they are ready to prove it to you that they've always truly cared about you. Mm -hmm. The sun is an overall energy, which is the, you know, the one of the most positive cards in a deck. Suggests that this connection can be healed, that both of you can reconnect, re reunite, you know, uh, reconcile, get back together. You know, the sun here as an overall energy suggests that. There is a big chance for both of you to be in a happy relationship or kind of connection, you know, that things can indeed change between the two of you, where both of you will experience so much happiness and joy because that's the sun. Sun is this beautiful energy of happiness, joy, understanding, enlightenment. And I feel that this person is going to explain something here to you that and then everything will just become more clear you you know because the sun is just this energy that something comes to light something that was that you might felt uneasy about or this kind of you had a doubt or there was a lack of clarity with the sun things will just be understood and that uncertainty will disappear because you will possess uh, knowledge about this particular situation. But the sun is a very positive, positive energy. And this is a very positive outcome as an overall energy for this reading. It feels very strongly here that things can be healed between the two of you. And this connection has a chance to be a happy one. So you can expect here, Scorpio, that this person indeed wants to come back. They will reach out because they want to reconnect with you. And I see an apology coming in. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.